Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at chipping, okay? Uh, specifically, someone requested about preventing the duff, the duff shot with a chip, but we'll go through some of the fundamentals and how to actually help that benefit you, okay? So with the chip, we're looking to have 70 to 80% of the weight on our lead leg, okay? So what that ensures us to do is have a little bit more of a descending blow, okay? Common faults we tend to see with people that fat or thin the chips are weight stays very level and then as you come through you're trying to get under the ball and actually help it up and it's got that look there with that thin clean shot or when the ground starts to get a little bit wet now you start to catch that slightly heavy okay so another key thing with, with a setup we want to be looking at is we actually want to have our feet kind of relatively to the, appropriate to the distance we're trying to hit it so if we go into that borderline chip slash pitch then we want to go a little bit wider as we're getting close and say a 20 yard chip I like to see a little bit more than just club head width apart, okay? And the key is as well, when you are setting up for the ball, we're now not having as much body rotation, so aiming a little bit left is actually okay as well of target. That presets our hip rotation a little bit, so it's going to help us come through, okay? So from here, I've got a little bit more weight on that lead side, okay? 70-80% here, okay? Feet now slightly left of target to square, okay? The stance, the width of the stance now is a little bit more than my club head width, okay? Now you can see I'm angled on this, this lead side, okay? With the grip, okay, we see a lot of people with that shaft lean here trying to dig in, okay? Problem with that that, that can cause is that lead and edge now starts to get exposed on the way back and through. So when I have an excessive shaft lean at setup here and I come back down, that lead and edge is just going to dig and there's no real glide through or, or more of a sweeping motion where we actually have some turf interaction we're getting in and out of it okay so what i like to see is when you've got this set up here okay again ball position can dictate on shot height and trajectory we're trying to hit i like to see anywhere from middle to slightly forward okay i like to see that butt of the club a little bit more central towards the belt buckle if anything a fraction forward but i don't like to see none of that excessive shafting like i said that that heel's going to start leading edge going to start digging in when we can sit that club a little bit more more neutral here this allows the back of that club to interact get that bounce going through the turf okay as soon as we have the shafting you can see now that back of the club now sits in the air and that leading edge as it comes in starts to dig and that's where a lot of the duff shots come okay on that way back now what i like to see again is that lead arm stays connected to my rib cage okay as opposed to moving away that causes that done shot because as that moves off the rib cage you'll see that straight up that arm wants to straighten back into the ground that causes that heavy duff strike again okay so a nice little drill and feel for that is actually just to get your lead arm and just pop it on the on that trail arm here and actually have a couple of swings where you feel that arm stays actually connected to our rib cage here as i work back and through here okay that's going to give me some good mechanics and teach me how that trail arm works a lot of topic of conversation is wrist hinge okay so a lot of people they can get too wristy um i prefer to see a slight wrist hinge but not a massive amount of wrist hinge okay so as that lead arm that lead arm stays connected to the rib cage obviously wet on the left as i'm turning i'm feeling a little bit more of that belt buckle or the belly button and the butt of the club working together with a slight hinge nothing too excessive again otherwise you've got to time that unloading pretty well okay and we're not looking again to dig that lead and edge into that turf too quick okay from this point here a lot of common faults we see is when the when the as you're coming into the ball the knees dig the knees buck on that club digs okay reason being is as you've taken this back this club is so high off the ground almost like a full shot obviously this is only a little shot the only way we can get back to the ball is actually sink the knees in okay so the feeling of that butt of the club and belly button working around together this will keep the, cl the club it's slightly lower to the ground as opposed to that lifting up motion and then you're having to drop down okay what you want to also be aware of is you can have a little bit of body movement and and weight transfer a little bit more through and allow this trail leg to come through we don't want to just stand there and keep the whole body static okay so as i'm coming down and through i've almost got a little bit of pressure moving even more forward and then i rotate through and you can see my trail foot and trail leg come 
slightly through the ball as opposed to just being there static trying to keep my head down and swing okay so we've got our ball position roughly middle to slightly forward feet just beyond club head width apart weight 70 80 percent on the lead side but the club into the belt block if anything's a fraction ahead okay trail arm sits on the rib cage butt of the club belly button work together okay with a slight wrist hinge we're not going to now lift up okay the key is we're trying to almost return this back to our starting position and allow that club to release under and that face getting back pointing to me as opposed to trying to drive that shaft and that hand forward because then that's when you're going to have to stop and that is so common with a lot of off chip shots and things is when you're not allowing that club one to get lower to the ground quick enough and two to release and pass your hands okay so really focus on that okay so we have that weight on the left ball position here okay connect the trail arm slight wrist hinge and turn through and really allow that release and that that club face to almost be pointing back at us okay path wise we're not trying to swipe across and hit our slices we're trying to feel a little put a little bit more neutral spin on it so we can actually control this this kind of side spin we're putting on it when that ball lands on the green okay so from here i've got all my setup keys stay there down and through okay give this a try let me know how you get on in the comments below again if you like the if you like the video uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe help yourself any future videos drop a comment below thank you for watching